The University of Queensland is committed to embedding sustainability into all aspects of campus life. Part of that commitment is the Global Change Institute, which aims to be an independent source of game-changing research, ideas and advice for addressing the challenges of global change. The Institute's new building, itself created as a living example of best practice in sustainability, has won a keenly contested AMX Innovation Award for its groundbreaking integration of AMX control with the Comprehensive Building Management System, or BMS. So while the GCI building is largely automated at any given time, the touch control panel allows me to control the whole operations of the building. It also allows me to keep up to date on the status of any room, or in fact the entire building at any time, as well as control the functions within it. The six Green Star building, accommodating both researchers and teaching spaces, is designed to work with the natural environment, operating as a zero energy and zero carbon workplace. As well as generating and storing its own power on site, the building features automated ventilation systems, hydronic in-slab cooling and a shading system that tracks the sun throughout the day. Sensor systems report temperature and humidity to the BMS, which adjust the shading and ventilation to keep the room environment comfortable. To allow control over climate and lighting in the teaching spaces without compromising the overall efficiency of the building, each AMX room controller provides two-way interaction with the BMS. If a user chooses to darken the room for projection, the AMX system interrogates the BMS to determine the position of the louvers, which must be closed before the blinds can be lowered. If cooling is requested, the AMX sends a request to the BMS, which analyses the status of the cooling plant and the conditions around the building before responding with the most efficient climate control settings. Once the user logs off, the building systems switch back to automatic mode, adjusting the shades and ventilation for best effect at minimum energy consumption. In order to mesh seamlessly with the BMS, each room's control system is networked to a central AMX controller, which handles two-way communication via a BACnet interface to the building control systems. The aim is to work with the building to keep energy use as low as possible. That means checking if it is day or night when a room is turned on and either turning the lights on or not as part of that process. We've made a lot of little refinements that add up to big efficiencies. The lessons learned from the applications in the Global Change Institute are now being applied directly to other projects at the university, such as the spectacular new Advanced Engineering Building. The Five Green Star Building employs similar techniques in automated climate control with active solar shading and constant monitoring of key parameters to ensure energy targets and environmental benchmarks are continuously met. The most visible feature is the stunning 500-seat GHD auditorium, the largest on campus. The lecture theatre's advanced triple projection display and the acoustically integrated sound system are effortlessly commanded from the AMX touch panel, but that is just the start of the integrated automation system. In the same way as at the Global Change Institute, a dedicated AMX controller interfaces with core building systems such as the massive sunshades that protect the theatre's glass facade and takes control whenever needed. The interface between the local controls and the building management system is totally transparent to the user. They just push a button on the touch panel to request projection and the whole building responds to create the right ambient conditions. The AMX Innovation Award recognises the outstanding leadership in sustainability that the University of Queensland continues to demonstrate with the Global Change Institute, the Advanced Engineering Building and the University's massive 1.22 megawatt solar array system. This building proves that it's possible to meet the challenges of global change by switching the focus from consumption to contribution. In fact, the technology already exists. It's simply a matter of applying the technology in the correct manner.